the most decorated woman of the Second World War. Nancy Grace Wake, also known as Madame Fioca, was a nurse and journalist who joined the French Resistance and later the Special Operations Executive, or SOE, during World War II, and briefly pursued a post-war career as an intelligence officer in the Air Ministry. The official historian of the Special Operations Executive, M.R.D. Foote, said that her irrepressible, infectious high spirits were a joy to everyone who worked with her. Many stories about her World War II activities come from her autobiography, The White Mouse, and are not verifiable from other sources. Born in Wellington, New Zealand, Wake grew up in Sydney, New South Wales, Australia. By the 1930s, when the war broke out, Wake was living in Marseille with her French industrialist husband, Henry Fioca. Then, after the fall of France to Nazi Germany in 1940, Wake became a courier for the Pat O'Leary Escape Network, led by Ian Garrow and later Albert Garais. Yeah, I know, I probably butchered those names. As a member of the Escape Network, she helped Allied airmen evade capture by the Germans and escape to neutral Spain. Then in 1943, when the Germans became aware of her, she escaped to Spain and continued on to the United Kingdom. Unfortunately, her husband was captured and executed. After reaching Britain, Wake joined the Special Operations Executive under the codename Helena. Then on April 29th and the 30th, 1944, as a member of a three-person SOE team codenamed Freelance, Wake parachuted into the Allier Department of Occupied France to liaison between the SOE and several guerrilla groups in the Averne region, which were loosely overseen by Emilie Caledon, codenamed Gaspard. She participated in a battle between one of the guerrilla forces, the Maquis, and a large German force in June of 1944. In the aftermath of the battle, following the defeat for the Maquis, she claimed to have bicycled 500 kilometers to send a situation report to the SOE in London. Wake went on to receive the George Medal from the UK, the Medal of Freedom from the US, a medal from France, Australia, and New Zealand, making her one of the most decorated women of World War II. Thanks for watching, and remember if it's more interesting, you can find it here.